Hey, good morning, everyone. It's the 28th of August, 2020, and it's 8.30 a.m., 9.30 in New York, and UTC is 13.30, and we're going to get started with Squawk today. Uh, pulling up uh, trading view, we're looking at Bitcoin sitting at about 11,436 and 40 cents, and it is on an overall upward trend over the last few minutes and uh, this morning, uh, and that's part of a larger move. As always, we're always looking at multiple time frames at once uh, but we're going to get started on the squawk here and then we'll come back and take a closer look at bitcoin and some other uh, crypto vehicles and see where we're standing today uh, maybe uh, look at some news as it pertains to those prices uh, let's get started with the squawk auger rep coming in at 61st by market cap trading at 21 and 99 that's down 2.84 percent uh, on the day moving up into uh, nearly the top 50. We got Quantum coming in at 52nd by market cap trading at three and 42. That's down 2.06% of the day. Uh, let's see, Digibyte in at 49th. Uh, TrueUSD in at 46. Dogecoin in at 44th by market cap trading at 0 0.3 cents, up 0.06% on the day. Uh, zero, zero X in at 39th by market cap, trading at 63.5 cents, up 1.9% on the day. Compound in at 37th, slamming at 190 and 74. That's up a whopping 11.29% on the day. Also, Yearn Finance coming in at 34th by market cap, trading at $17,779.09. That's up 20.52% on the day. Uh, interesting vehicle there. I haven't really taken a look at urine before, but maybe we can do that over the coming days and weeks. 32nd by market cap ontology, uh, trading at 84 cents. That's up 0.42% on the day. Maker in at 31st, down by two points, two percentage points. Uh, moving on up, Zcash in at 28th, trading at 76 to 41, up 1.4%. Dash in at 26th, trading at 85 and 3, up 0.58%. IOTA in at 23rd by market cap, trading at 34 cents, and that's up 2.9% on the day. Uh, let's see, NEO in at 19th, trading at 18 and 34, up 6.43%. And Cosmos by the symbol ATOM, Adam in at 17th by market cap, trading at 7 and 50. That's up 2.56% on the day. Tron TRX in at 15th by market cap, trading at 2.3 cents, up 2.27% of the day. XLM, Stellar in at 14th, trading at 9.5 cents, that's up 0.18% on the day. Tezos in at 13th. Cardano, ADA in at 12th by market cap, trading at 10 cents, up 0.13%. EOS in at 11th, trading at three and five, that's up 0.15% on the day. Uh, Binance Coin in at 10th by market cap, uh, trading at 22 and 89 up 1.07 percent of the day and as we move into the top 10 all these vehicles are going to be are going to have a market cap greater than 3 million uh, with Binance at 3.3 million uh, moving up uh, ninth crypto coin in at ninth by market cap trading at 17 cents up 0.36 percent of the day BSV in at eighth trading at 188 and 15 down 0.79 percent Litecoin LTC in at seventh trading at 57 and 54 Five, down 0.18 percent of the day bitcoin cash bch in at six trading at 268 and 48 down 1.38 percent of the day chain link in at fifth trading at 15 and four up 1.45 percent tether in at fourth xrp in at third trading at 26.8 cents that's down 0.3 percent on the day ethereum eth in at second by market cap trading at 392 and 23 and that is up 1.56%. And of course, Bitcoin BTC in at first, trading at 11,467 and 10, according to Coin Market Cap, up 0.67% of the day. Circulating supply now listed at 18,473,125 Bitcoin. And uh, the market cap is sitting at 211,833,100,492 uh, with a 24 hour traded volume of 22,770,922,999 uh, to, uh, 
Uh, so that's gonna do it for uh, the squawk this morning. Um, as I was looking at uh, some of the volatile cryptos in the market, um, as always, uh, we take a look at the crypto screener according to market cap, including only the top 60 coins. Uh, and then occasionally uh, auger if it slips out of the top 60. So, um, so we're looking at uh, those uh, top tier coins uh, across three exchanges, and that's Coinbase, Gemini, and Kraken. Uh, a lot of sell side and, and flat uh, activity uh, today. Um, and again, uh, another sorry, another parameter that uh, we include in that search is that we're uh, looking for vehicles going up against uh, the dollar, of course. And so, uh, with that, we've had. Um, uh, percentage change of only a point or so in the green coming from ethereum classic um, a lot of stuff has been relatively flat on the bullish side excuse me yeah I didn't realize that my camera on. I got that yawn on that's fine um, and on the uh, downside we've only had like uh, a couple of points coming from uh, Ethereum, I'm sorry, I mentioned before ETH, but it was Ethereum Classic that's down 2.86%. Augur also down, uh, and uh, OMG is similarly down. And so uh, we were looking at some of this stuff uh, earlier. It Really on the four hour chart, it kind of looks flat. Um, there's been some sideways uh, movement going on. Uh, recently and uh, Bitcoin of course has been on a very slow and uh, intentional looking upward trend uh, looks like we're having some uh, buy side activity in the markets uh, let's see uh, only in a hundred thousand uh, there was a there was a buy on I think uh, bitmex for a million uh, just a few seconds ago so um, and that would make sense as we look at Bitcoin or Kraken right here uh, it's kind of in a in a sort of upward channel and um, And we are at the bottom of that channel right now. So uh, expecting some uh, Activity especially now that we're seven minutes into you uh, New York open um, So we'll wait for that see how that transpires in the meantime, let's take a, a look at uh, the news there were a couple of things uh, we're looking at Tron. Tron remains bearish below 0.25 cents as we discussed earlier. Um, there was some interesting activity coming from Tron. Um, they, uh, th there was some, uh, there was some large, uh, million dollar plus, uh, movements into some, uh, private wallets. So we, we don't know what's going on, but they were being moved from exchanges to wallets. Uh, so, um, possibly some cold storage stuff there. Uh, Tron and EOS, uh, and IOTA and NEO, a lot of the, uh, popular Asian coins were being, uh, were being, uh, mentioned in the news quite a bit. Um, so we're gonna, uh, take a look at that. Uh, just give me one second. There we go. Yeah, so um, yesterday, uh, I saw this earlier, uh, we had this spike uh, and it was immediately kind of shot down on the intraday right here. And uh, I guess that had to do with uh, Powell's speech. Um, and it, per it pertained to uh, Things that the U.S. was doing um, with interest, and it was possibly related to uh, options expiry. Um, so, uh, but it was a kind of a brief, briefly lived movement, and uh, didn't hear anything else after it. Um, there was a, there was some news. Uh, God, I can't remember the dude's name, but. Uh, he was like a, a relatively famous and he was mentioning on 
on uh, his uh, private stream. Uh, or he was telling his followers to pump and dump Bitcoin. Or I don't know if it was Bitcoin or another crypto, but uh, he was quoted as saying, in crypto, you can pump and dump all day. And so now the dude's getting investigated by the SEC for stock manipulation. Um, I think uh, I think because of his comments, there was some volatility in the, in the crypto market. Oh, excuse me. A little, little uh, yawny this morning. Um, so that's going to be uh, it. Well, I'm not really going to get into too much detail today. Um, we're just going to uh, watch the markets and I'm going to try and find uh, maybe a decent uh, long out here above this fib- local Fibonacci. So we'll take a look at it. I'll be around. You can hit me up on Twitter if you need to at Joel Benavides. Um, I was on the the phone a great deal yesterday, and um, I think we're going to start implementing. Uh, this is the first, pr- probably, if I get this to podcast, will be the first podcast that I've had on in a while. And the reason for that is because I was talking to a decent number of folks yesterday, and uh, I think we're going to be coming back with a um, a uh, guest co-host theme um, where we do what we always do and usually it takes us between 10 to 30 minutes to, to do it depending on what's going on with the market uh, but thereafter we'll be including a uh, a, uh, a segment uh, where we're going to be discussing other stuff besides Bitcoin and crypto so more to come on that uh, later but it should be hitting um, the podcast and the stream within uh, within uh, a week or two, and uh, and that's probably th- those those segments are probably going to be aired on the stream at night in the evening time, and then just be included in the following morning's uh, the following morning stream. So, uh, but yeah, uh, more to come on that in coming days. Um, I go offline on the weekends, uh, but we'll be back here. Uh, possibly briefly Monday and Tuesday, but in force Wednesday through Friday. And that's when all that stuff will hopefully come out. We'll have some interesting characters with uh, very varied topics coming on. Uh, So we're going to get out of here. Have a good day in the markets and we'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.